Hi, everybody. We're in Rocky Mountain country here in Denver, Colorado. The Avalanche ready to pile on the opposition tonight. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Avs will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Well, you saw the defenders try and jostle him off the puck there, James, and they just can't do it. I mean, they can try and get position on him, but trying to push him off the puck, that's just not going to happen. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. Oh, and he misfires on that. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Handles the pass from the right side. Colorado's gained possession. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Quick shot! Comes up with a monster save in front. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. And they'll start with possession. Big stop right there. And he comes up big again. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Denies him in close. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Strong defensive effort. Moves it to Wood. Centering pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. To Wood. Takes that pass back at the point. Reaches out and uses the stick. Gets the puck in deep. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Chase up, come on. Colorado's playing it from the side. Directed over to Ayafalo. Slides it across to Niederreiter. They've got some momentum here. How did he stop that one? Slides it across to Drouin. Pokes it away in his own end. Tosses it on to Lowry. Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. Break away. Oh, the eyes on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Draws and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Passes it over to Parisi. Slides the puck ahead to Drouin. The Jets take over on possession. And now he moves it to Appleton. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Colorado's looking to break out. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. And that's intercepted by Velarde. Oh, they do it again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Here's a shot. The key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to and the wheelhouse, where they're blade, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Winnipeg's won it. Quick pass to Morrissey. The Jets carry it along the wall.
defender. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. Pass in front, and that's intercepted. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Nemestikov's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. And he keeps possession. Battle along the wall. Picked up along the wall by DeMello. Here's a short pass to Makar. Across the line. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Pushes it across to Barron. Moves it to Morrissey. And now he moves it quickly to Perfetti. Drills him. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. With possession along the wall. Quick feed from the car. Off a stick. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Bumped off the puck. Moves it quickly over to the car. They go on the attack through center. The Jets have it from their own end. Niederreiter's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Lowry. And he slides it quickly to Dillon. Oh, scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You've sent an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Winnipeg's gone in front by a goal here in the first. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue to attack. you got to play with killer instinct, especially when there's so much time left. Colorado's won the draw. Puck moved over to Rantanen. The Jets have it now. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. And he slides it quickly to Johnson. Intercepted. The Jets have been stealing pucks all game. And when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck. But they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Colorado's gained the line and into the zone. Feeds it down low. Here he is in close. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And he takes the feed. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Tries to feed it over to Shifley. Puck grabbed by Ehlers. Off a stick. Wagner's got the puck in his own zone. Tries to get it over to Morrissey. The Jets move it ahead. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. The Jets take it along the wing. Tried to get 2 2 with it and loses possession. Connor's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Big time save on a big time shot. Trying to gain a step. He's in. All alone. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Driving right to the front. The 
decides to think about it. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Appleton's got it behind the net. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Oh, and it goes just over the net. What a chance right there. That's a tough miss, James. I mean, that's a quality opportunity that's lost there. And the bench, you can see that that deflates them because you... Oh! clinic and body position how to roll off your coverage and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one timer off but he gets his stick available and he executes more than half the frame has been played here we got a tie game the abs win possession here in the open ice Pinned up along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Perfetti. Now a quick pass to Barron. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Passes on over to Perfetti. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Winnipeg's got him now. The Jets get a hold of it. From the left side, takes it at center. Takes the puck. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Well, so many goaltenders love to drop to that butterfly position and make themselves as big as possible. That's what he does. He tries to cover up a majority of the net, but there are some holes, and the shooter finds one. Winnipeg's got up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Hammers the shot, and that's off the club and will play on. Here's a short pass to Ehlers. The Jets gain control of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Rantanen. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. The Jets recognize that they have the lead, but also you don't get tons of great looks in a game. And this one is a missed opportunity as the puck goes off the frame and out. Along the half wall with the puck. Back to the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Georgiev. From the open ice, they gain the line. Taken along the wall by Rantanen. Hellebuck's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Connor's known to blow past defenders with speed, which is his wheel zone ability. Rontanen's very accurate when he shoots a settle-down puck with a shite zone ability. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Winnipeg's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of pucks on net so far. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Hellebuck's gonna hang on for a whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Colorado's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. Here he is, wrists on that, and he shuts the door again. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Moves it to the middle. by Manson. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Moves it around along the half wall. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. 
The Avs take it along the wall. They dump it in and get off for a breather. Stretches one out to Lowry. Pokes the puck away. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Takes a shot. Big save right at the end. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more. Opening face-off for period number two, about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Georgiev's performance was outstanding. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. Been right there with them all night long. And look at this, we've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Lekanen. Centering feed. A great defensive play to pick off the pass. On the attack along the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the call is. Bullardi's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Halifax's used to facing a lot of shots over the course of the game, and it helps him get into the rhythm, guys. His workhorse zone ability means his performance and engagement level goes up the more shots he faces. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Takes the feed. And that one's turned aside. Denies him again. Clearing attempt. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. And that's knocked away. They clear the zone. Picked up along the wall by Byron. And it's a quick pass to Johansson. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Sets it out front. And he denies that. Great opportunity there. And that's broken up. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They get it out of the defensive end. Moves it to Gerard. Let's move to the middle. Can't connect the play. Quick feed to Ayafalo. He carries the puck up along the wing. And they'll dump it in. In all alone on the breakaway. legs tonight. Look at him break away from the pack. He's in all alone. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. James with a little bit of a pause there to get the goaltender to bite, and then he puts it in the back of the net. Colorado's taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. The Jets gain control of it. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Scores! They tied it up! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close.
Winnipeg's really changed the complexion of this game. Look at this. We're all evened up here in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, and to do it at the beginning of the second is key. You really want to dictate pace and send a direct message to your opponent, and they do that with that goal. Great reach with the poke check by Dillon. Grabs it in his own end. Battling for it along the boards. Skates to the crease. tenacity have taken a one goal lead here in the second it's certainly better to play with the lead james but you know that there's a lot of one way left and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing this game has been tight all the way around and i expect that it will continue to be turn that one aside and now he moves it quickly to lekanen all quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck sends it deep inside the offensive zone Slides the puck over to Lekanen. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Handles the puck. The Jets have played from the defensive zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Fires it. Oh, save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. He's such an incredible player with balance, James. I mean, when you've got that core stability and you know how to shield and protect the puck, you can buy time. You can buy time for your line mates to come and join you, and you can also buy time to open up your own space and attack the net. The Avs are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and a lead in the second. Colorado's got the win off that draw. Here's a rip. Gets in front of the shot. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. McCars carrying it ahead. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Moves it over to Schmidt. Moves it to Nemestikov. Here's a shot. That eyes him on the play. Moves it quickly over to Schmidt. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. The Avs gain possession. Quick pass to Colton. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Here's a short pass to Ayafalo. Hammers it on net. Oh, quick save. Hellebuck's one of those goaltenders that the busier he gets, the more efficient he becomes. And it's save after save as his confidence grows and he's more dialed into the game. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Nice defensive robbery on that. And he takes the feed. What a hit against the wall there. And that's poked away by Morrissey. Came up with a nice save. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Passes it to Byron. Colorado's in on the offensive attack now. Moves it to Tomello. And that's deflected. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. All alone! Slips the pass in front! Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Taken here by Wagner. Oh, big time save by Hillebuck. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Moves the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Quick feed to Manson. Jabs the puck away. Nice feed from the goaltender. Fires it on that. Monster save by Georgiev. Well past the midway mark of this period. Colorado's got a 5-4 lead here in what has been a thrilling display of offense. 
McKinnon's won the faceoff. McCarr stick handling in his own zone. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. McKinnon's very hard to knock off the puck when he's carrying it in the zone. His unstoppable force zone ability is that strength and balance to stay with it, guys. And they win that draw at center. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Dillon. Huge steal in his own end. Sometimes when you're winning, you get overconfident and try and overhandle the puck, and this is what follows, a turnover. Coach isn't going to be very happy. You've got to game manage, you've got to puck manage, and you've got to make sure you make the correct play. Sometimes simple is better. The Avs have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. And they win the draw on their own end. McCarr is taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Drouet. The Avs have it from the corner. Hammers the shot, and he makes the save. Oh, there's one more. Here's a short pass to Drouet. Denies him. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Takes the feet at the back end. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. Past the halfway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Winnipeg's won the draw in the neutral zone. Handles the puck from the left side. Poked away. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Great forecheck by Ehlers. Pushes it across to Colton. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Shot! Makes the save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Trees in front, and that's intercepted. Looking to set up offensively, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And there's the save. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by O'Connor. Moves it to Shifley. The Jets play it along the boards. Pass into the paint, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Pass across to Gerard. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Taken by Gerard. Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Velarde's got it along the wing. And he takes a shot. Shuts him down. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Coming close. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, it stops him again. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Scooped up along the wall by Johnson. Oh, and a great heads-up play to force the turnover by Niederreiter. Slides the puck across to Cogliano. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Loose puck battle along the boards. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. He's got a step. Scores! Absolutely clinical finish on the breakaway. All the way down the ice, James. The ability to get away from the pack. Look over his shoulder, know where everyone is, and then that clean finish. Unbelievable goal. 
Man, is he ever flying, James? It looks like everyone else is in quicksand, and he is moving. He gets on his horse. He's in all alone, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't freak out. He doesn't panic. Shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip. The Jets pick up the all-important go-ahead goal late here in period number two. Well, uh, you're always cutting periods into five-minute increments, and this is the one that they wanted to score in, James, because it creates momentum, momentum that they can carry forward to the intermission. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. And he takes the pass. Puts it on net, gets in front of it. Here's a chance behind the net. Wagner's got it in the offensive zone. Nice save off the tender's pad. Quick feed to Perfetti. They gain the zone from the left side. Levels him against the wall. What a steal in his own end. Playing with confidence is one thing, but then you can be overconfident as well, James, especially when you have a lead. You want to make sure you're in good positioning to be able to backtrack and help out your defense. Moves it quickly over to Taves. Turns it away. Well, the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Late in the period, in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. The Jets get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Now he takes it over the line. True competitor save just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. McKinnon's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. With the draw here in their own end. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Quick pass to Morrissey. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Another big face off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Gets it out of his own end. A little pressure and a banging force the turnover. Gains the zone on the left wing. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck shorthanded. And a successful clearing attempt. Picked up along the boards by Drouin. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. And we've got a third period just around the corner. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? Who do you think is the fastest skater? Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. Colorado's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Nice poke check. The Avalanche have gained possession under man. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Here's a short pass to Shifley. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Great use of the stick at center by Wagner. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Puck skips into the bench and will get a reset. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Nemestikov's won the draw. Moves it to Morrissey. Johansson's penalty is almost expired. Makes the save on the slapper. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. The Avs have looked good tonight, but they still trail here early in this third period despite leading in the shot department. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Sends it in deep. The Jets have it now. Up along the wing. Here's a shot. Glove on that, what a stop by Gior 
Georgiev. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Jets win it. Sends the pass over. Spectacular save on the play. Pass back to the point. And now it's grabbed by Taves. The Avs take it across the blue line. And that's poked away by Rantanen. Battle along the boards. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Taken by Shifley. Bolardi's got the puck. And now it's grabbed by Connor. Quick feed to DeMello. Redirected off a stick. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And it's kicked away. Moves it quickly over to McCarr. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Saved by Hillebuck. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Monahan's won a big draw on their own end. Feeds it on over to Ehlers. Handles the pass. Denies him in front. Slides the pass over to McCarr. The Avs played along the boards. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Winnipeg's on the attack. Colorado's got the puck. Through the neutral zone, oh. along the boards, here they come. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Takes the shot. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Quick pass to Wood. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Take it along the wall by Niederreiter. Winnipeg's on the attack. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Too much traffic in the lane. Great poke check on the reach. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Avs played along the wing. And he loses control here. Excellent stick work on the play. Hellebuck's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. The Avs have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. Gets the puck over to Schmidt. Gaining momentum up along the side. Puts it in deep. The Avs gain control of the puck. Here they come up change along up, the wing. Shot! And that doesn't reach the net. And he slides it quickly to Niederreiter. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Here's a shot, and makes the save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The setters will glide into the dot. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. And that's broken up. Moves the puck over to Lekanen. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattled as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming. And then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Connor. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Sends a pass over. Slick feed. Takes the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to O'Connor. Winnipeg's got it across the line. The Avalanche have taken control of the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it to Colton. The Avs take it along the wall. From the slot! Blocked in traffic. Quick feed to Nemestikov. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. 
Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. Another chance here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. The Jets move it in. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. And he slides it quickly. Let's go! Precision passing is what leads to this one-timer opportunity, and it wasn't just an opportunity, James. It was a direct finish as he just slaps it and hammers it home. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Puck is dropped, play resumes. And now he tries to get it across to Rantanen. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Moves it quickly over to Ayafalo. The Jets looking against the half wall. Too much congestion in front. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Passed up ahead. The Avs move to the offensive zone and uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James, as it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. The Jets ready to go on the attack. Georgiev's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Johansson's won it off the faceoff. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Quick pass to Parisi. Receives the pass. Both in there. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Avalanche have got one back here in the third. They get rewarded for their efforts, James, as the end of the third period nears, and they got to focus in on what they have to do, and that's drive and attack. Leave it all out there on the ice. My goodness, what a save by Georgiev. Slides it over to Parisi. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Slides the puck to Manson. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Grabbed along the board by Dillon. Quick pass to Lowry. Oh, that save! Tremendous agility there by Georgiev. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Angles it over to O'Connor. Now a quick pass to Johansson. Drives to the paint! Too much congestion blocks the shot. Winnipeg's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Dillon. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Feeds the puck to Shifley. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Looks to get the puck over to O'Connor. And loses possession after a solid hit. Right in front! Big time save by Hellebuck. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Moves it to Wood. The Avs are in transition. Looking to make something happen along the boards. 
And that carries off a stick. Takes the feed. Oh, a clutch save! There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Colorado's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Ehlers. Tries to get the puck to Rantanen. Rips it along the wall. Denies him, he got all of it. Moves it quickly over to Morrissey. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Ayafalo. Right on the doorstep. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Here's a short pass to Ehlers. Colorado's got it along the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Ayafalo. Puck picked up by Monaghan. Moves it on over to Ehlers. Slides it diagonally to Schmidt. Quick feed down low. Can't maintain possession. Quick feed to McCarr. And now it's over to Drouin. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Moves it quickly over to Appleton. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Dishes it to Gerard. Drouet's got the puck along the wing. Quick shot! Pad save! He's on it tonight. The Jets will play it in their own end. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. And another call against the home team and these fans have... I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Carlton's got the answer as to who had the better night. Connor's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Quick pass to Shifley. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And now he angles it across to Shifley. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Georgiev. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Avs win the draw. Branton is lugging the puck. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Slides the puck over. Oh, great read! Denies that opportunity. The Avs really need a goal here. They pull the goalie and the extra attackers out. Into the offensive zone. Fires to the empty net. Scores into the empty net. This was right in my wheelhouse, James. These were the type of moments that I played in, and everyone can take a breath now that the insurance marker has hit the 4x6. Well, that's a strong effort all the way around. Stingy defensively at the end of the game, and they're able to get that empty netter, and it's the dying minutes here, James. It should seal the deal. The Jets may have found the insurance marker they needed on that last empty net of there, Cheryl. Well, outside of a major hiccup, that should be it, James. That should seal the deal. That lead should get the win. Makes his presence known on the ice. Colorado's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass. Scores into the empty net. Uh, you pull your goaltender for the extra attacker, and then you're unable to convert and execute, and it winds up going the other way, and you pay the price. You can see the emotion on everyone on the ice as that empty netter went in. That's an insurance marker, and that's going to be the game. Officials have got 
both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Colorado's won the faceoff at center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big save just as time runs out. And that'll do it from ringside here. Colorado's empty net approach seemed to backfire tonight as they just tried to get a little too aggressive and it cost them. Well, backfire it did, James. I don't like it. After that first goal, you put your tender back in. Why? That's just negative energy for the losing team. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.